All right, let me try this again. I just recorded this video and uh, had a technical issue, so I'm redoing it right now. All right, it is Friday, uh, January 26th. It's about 10 a.m. I finished trading today at about just after 9 a.m., and I had a crazy day. I can't believe I took 11 trades today, guys. It's crazy. I, I don't, well, I know. I've never taken 11 trades uh, ever in a single day. And uh, wrapping up the week to be 15 and four for the week, 19 trades this week. If anyone's been following my journey uh, so far, you know, I've never even gone anywhere near this. I mean, 11 trades in a single day is crazy. Go back and look at my videos from, you know, any time from when I started on YouTube in September all the way through. I mean, I, I think, you know, up until just recently, the most trades I had in a day was like three or, you know, on red days, I would have like five or six trades, you know, because I got a loss and I'm trying to get it back. But today I'm trying something different and uh, I, I liked my experience today. Today was a good trading day. Felt very easy, felt very stress-free. And it probably helped I wasn't trading my PA today. But let me uh, get into it and talk about what I was doing today uh, to be 10 and one. So, uh, for anyone that's been watching me, you know that I, I've been applying a lot of rules to my trades all along. And with my current system that I'm trading, the BS system that I started trading uh, in 2024 when I switched over to NQ, uh, really just the past four weeks and one additional week uh, that I didn't record for YouTube during right after Christmas between the year. Um, uh, you know, this system's brand new and I've been modifying and changing things, tweaking it little by little as I've gone day by day, week by week to figure out how to use the, the edge best uh, uh, to have the best results to get more PAs uh, and to uh, get more payouts. And so it's really just about figuring out how to lean into my edge. And my edge right now <clears throat> is this system that my brother came up with where we can look at a chart and just at a glance know whether the chart is working consistently for our profit target on our scalps uh, for every entry on the chart and so on a day like today when i started i had three charts that had no losers going for my profit target uh, throughout the entire overnight session and regular hour session at the time i started at uh, 6 45 in the morning and um, i had one chart where uh, i had one loss in that time so really four great charts and as you can see here this is this was my main chart that I, I traded the most on and i had six trades just on this chart so i didn't trade my pa today because um trading uh the way i traded today i didn't want to risk uh the pa since it's in good shape um, but what i changed for today is i had been trading two contracts per trade so today i made it one contract per trade knowing that I was going to up the volume of my trades, but um, wanting to risk less. And so um, instead of making 100 per trade, I'm only making 50 per trade. But uh, as you can see, I got 11 trades instead of one or two or three. So um, uh, right there, I think that is significant. Secondarily, uh, as I was saying, I've been applying all kinds of rules to each entry. Today, I applied zero rules. There was no rules applied. Um, I just leaned into my edge, which is the chart was working consistently, no matter what the setup looked like, whether it was a good signal bar, or bad signal bar, no matter what the trend was, no matter what the EMA was doing, no matter where the EMA was in relationship to the entry, just nothing, like no thought, just, okay, I see there's going to be an entry and um, every entry has worked so far on the trade, so I'm going to arm my um, my order, my, my, arm my account so that the order goes in and, um, it's like a semi, semi auto entry. So, uh, I place the order and it's a stop market order and it automatically moves one tick above or below the signal bar when the bar closes and will enter me in the trade if it ticks through. So, um, that's what I'm doing. And it got me to 10 and one today. It was, it was pretty great. Um, I started on evaluation number 33, which was my worst performing, uh, account that I had active. And so, um, you know, it has the lowest balance. So I figured, okay, I'll, I'm going to try this on my worst account first 
And, you know, if it all goes horribly wrong, well, the account wasn't in good shape anyway. So, uh, uh, having said that, my first five trades of the day, five and oh, made $250. And what I'm looking to do is to take um, four to five trades per account. And once I get four or five winners in a row, move on to another account. And so that's what happened today. I was five and oh, and I moved on to my next account, which was account 32. And as you can see, I passed this evaluation today. Now, this one was funny because I meant to trade this account with one contract like I did the previous account, uh, but my copier was on four contracts and I didn't notice. I entered the trade and I won the trade before I even realized I was in it for four contracts. And luckily it also was a winner. So I started my day off six and zero and, um, and I passed the evaluation uh, for uh, number 32 in one shot. Uh, which was cool. So um, we're going to have another PA starting next week on a 25K account. And I have my current one is a 50K account. And uh, when I continue next week, um, I'm going to do this system. And I'll start with my first PA that I've been trading. And uh, if I can pull off four or five wins in a row, I'll switch to my second PA and I'll do the same. And then um, move on to evaluations from there. And we'll see how that goes. So, um, so yeah, so so all good. Six and zero to start my day, and then evaluation twenty seven is what I switched to next after I passed number thirty two, and I uh, went four and one on that one. And so you can see um, uh, that's my one red account for today. You know, it was a really big bar, so the the one loss really cost me on that account. Um, but luckily, you know, that account was, um, it's a new account and it, it was just above, uh, 50,000. So, you know, to be down $254, um, not really a big deal at all. So that's the other great thing about just trading the one contract is, um, you know, it's, it's not going to kill my account. I got plenty of time to make it up and the volume of trades that I can get means that, um, I can make it up, uh, you know, relatively quickly, uh, considering that I can take a lot of trades in theory. So, um, yeah, just a really, really cool day. Um, really enjoy trading this way. And, uh, the key is just, you know, I have to have winning charts to be able to trade this way. So if I get, if I start my day and all my charts are looking bad, then I'm going to have to decide whether I just don't trade that day or, um, pick the best chart and try to only take the trades with, with my rules being applied and based on my knowledge of price action and, um, you know, trade slow, you know, trade slower on those days, but we'll see how it goes. You know, it, it's really though, for me all about leaning into my edge right now, you know, yesterday I had a chart. I could have easily been 10 and 0 yesterday. Um, I was three and 0, which was great, but I could have been 10 and 0. So, you know, when I was thinking about that and going, okay, well, if I lower my risk, and just get more volume of trades, um, it may work out for me better because now I can trade more accounts, trading one at one trade at a time, one account at a time, and spread it across more accounts. So today was a good example. I was 10 and one. Um, I, I improved two accounts and one account uh, wasn't improved. But um, again, if I can be, you know, getting two PAs for every one account lost or, or two uh, payouts for every one account blown up or whatever the case may be, like that's worth it. You know, I'll do that all day long. So that's how I'm going to do this. Um, let's get into my trades. I've got 11 trades to show today. So this is going to be a bit of a longer video, but I'll just try to go right through them. And 80% uh, discount still going on until uh, the end of day Monday at midnight and the one day to pass, I believe also is until uh, Monday at the close of Monday's session. So um, uh, you can use this discount or any other. Uh, like and subscribe if you're interested in continuing to follow me on my journey. You can see that I'm evolving, um, I'm modifying things, I'm changing things, and um, I'm pretty excited about where this potentially could go. Um, I think playing the Apex game, um, this may ultimately prove to be the best way I can go about it based on um, what I have available to me at this time in terms of the way I want to trade. So let's uh, take a look at trade number one. Okay, so here you can see this is the live chart. 
Um, so we had a big move down in the overnight, then we shot up, big move up, and then uh, shot through the EMA, and we were working back down. And, um, you know, applying no rules at all, uh, I started at 645 right in here, and this thing was shooting off the EMA, and you can see I'm going counter trend here. And, um, you know, I just stuck to what I said I was going to do, which is the first uh, entry I see since this chart had no losers the whole session so far um, was I was just going to arm my account to take the trade, uh, the first one I see. And uh, you can see this one looks crazy. I mean, it's getting rejected by the EMA. It shot through the EMA. I'm not doing any measured moves. I'm not, I'm not doing any rules. I'm not looking for anything, like literally no analysis. The signal bar sucks. And, um, you know, it's not like a, a level to trade off of or anything. And, uh, but it hadn't lost yet. And so I said, I was going to take it and, uh, you can see this works, but, um, you know, I, I really thought I was going to lose this trade right away. It went against me after I entered, I thought, Oh, great. I'm doing this for the first time. Uh, here's my first loss, first trade, but, uh, it ended up, ended up working out and I went on to be six and zero after this. So let's take a look at the live recording of the trade and, uh, go from there. All right. So here we go. I arm the trade. And, uh, you know, not a good signal bar or anything. I was just like, this feels kind of crazy. And, uh, uh, but I took the, my worst evaluation account. It felt like no risk, you know, it's one contract and, uh, it's not a make it or blow it up situation. And I just said to myself, Hey, you know, the chart hasn't lost, but look at this. And I'm just thinking to myself, great, this is. This is already not going to work out for me very well, and I'm going to have a loss right here. And um, I mean, just couldn't believe that I escaped this alive, but it, the chart was working, right? And this is a trade I would never take. There's no way I would ever normally take this trade. And look at this, it just shoots up and, and fills me. Boom got a win in the books already. So, uh, to my amazement, I was like, all right, well that worked. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's take another trade. So, uh, stayed on the same account and went to trade number two. All right. So this is now a different chart. My second trade was taken on and, um, uh, my first trade was taken at like six fifty two in the morning. This, uh, trade is at six fifty seven. Uh, so just five minutes later, taking a second trade and, um, uh, same thing, just, uh, this, this, uh, chart hadn't taken any losses, uh, the whole session. And so, uh, first signal, I am taking the trade and, you know, first, first entry I see on the chart and, uh, arm the account and take the trade. So let's take a look at the live recording. All right, so here's the live recording of the trade. You can see I'm I'm arming it already now, and um, uh, again, just no analyzing, no thought process at all. I got a doji bar. I let the order move to one tick above the doji bar, and uh, just no concern for rules or good signal bars or anything. Uh, just know that I'm on a chart that has worked for every entry that has been my profit target. And so I'm, I'm just leaning into the idea of that and saying, okay, well, um, we're going to, we're going to go with it. And, uh, if it triggers the, the entry, then I'm going to be in the trade. And, uh, so you can see, I just left my order sitting out there and, you know, uh, it's interesting trading like this where you're trading for one contract and you're not risking multiple accounts. And in this case, I'm not even risking any of my important accounts that are, you know, meaningful to me at this point, my PA that's getting close to payout or the evaluation that was uh, close to passing. And I'm just trying this out for the first time, you know, and, um, you know, I really didn't have any idea how today was going to go. I just had in my head, if I had taken every entry yesterday, I would have had a 10 a day. Um, and so it was just that being in mind and going, okay, well, how can I take advantage of that without 
you know, risking my accounts. Well, it's to lower the contracts. So if you do get a loss, cause you're bound to get a loss doing this. I mean, it's, it is literally Russian roulette. I mean, you know, you're just banking on the streak continuing and eventually there will be a loss if you keep going. So, uh, knowing that if I trade one contract, I know that, okay, I'll take a ding, but I won't just blow up the account in one shot. And um, because I'm going to get more volume of trades, I'll be able to make up that loss quicker in theory over time, uh, just because I'm taking way more trades. And uh, you can see I, I just left this out this whole time just waiting and didn't know when it was going to trigger, didn't know if it was going to be this bar or the next bar or what. Um, and uh, just leaving it there to see what happens. And it was just such a relaxing way of trading to not have to analyze and think and second guess and question, you know, am I right? Am I wrong? If, I, if, if the trade loses, well, it was bound to happen on the chart. Um, it was worth taking a shot because uh, the edge was on my side. So here you can see I got triggered into this trade and um, I think all of these worked pretty quickly overall. Let's see. I mean, even here when it was like backing up against me, it's like, well, if I lose, I lose. It, you know, it, it, it's like I'm always stressing out about losing. And uh, today it just didn't feel like that. So there you see I got, I got the, the win on trade number two. So let's uh, keep it moving and go to trade number three. All right. So here we are. Trade number three. Not much later. Uh, we're looking at um, about 7.03 in the morning. So we're just talking about, you know, minutes later from my last trade, which was here. And um, again, you know, this trade is going right into the EMA, directly into the EMA, um, directly into the previous day uh, low. And I'm just not taking anything into consideration. I'm just trusting the chart. And again, this chart... Uh, is another different chart. Now this chart is the one that did have one loss early in the overnight session, but it had a number of winners already in a row um, by this point that I took the trade. And I knew it was a riskier trade, but once you decide that you're gonna just lean into the edge of the system, you can't apply rules because the second you start applying rules, you don't take this trade. And, um, and then once you don't take one trade, then you start second guessing other trades. And so to me, you know, the only way I can figure to really use this strategy to the best I can use it is to decide on days where um, there's virtually no winners, no winners, or maybe one winner, like in this case on this chart, you just got to take the trade. And if you lose, you lose. Um, I'm not going to feel bad about it. It's not like I did something wrong. I'm just following the chart. So in this case, got a lucky win. I mean, it, it, I think it went one tick maybe above, um, maybe it went one tick above, uh, my, my profit target. Um, obviously it went just far enough to get me out of the trade. Let's take a look at it. And, uh, you know, it immediately turned against me, but luckily I was already out of the trade. Let's look at it. All right. So here we go. This is the live recording of the trade, and you can see the price was moving back up. I just armed uh, the account to take a trade. It pushes up, and now this is right into the EMA. So, you know, I'm sitting here looking at this like, wow, like this is a trade I would never take. I mean, it closed right on the EMA, not above it, like right on it, like below it. And, um, you know, I would definitely think price is going to continue going down here. Um, you can see price literally went down first and then came all the way back up as you're going to about to see. So I was just thinking, okay, well, it's not going to enter me here. Maybe it'll create another bar and go lower and then enter me in, which I probably would have felt better about that than the way this happened. So you can see it's just it's pushing down, pushing down, and then it just starts reversing. And um, again, just a trade I would never 
consider taking. There's no way I would take this trade because technically this is an engulfing entry, which you know is definitely one of my rules. I try to stay away from these because uh, I lose so many times taking uh, something that happens in this kind of way. Now here we are, we're about to get entered into this trade. And there we go, we're in the trade. And just like that, got another win. So that's uh, three in a row. And um, let's uh, go to the next trade. All right, so here we are, trade number four. You can see this is now back to the first uh, chart that I traded and took my first trade on. And this is literally the second entry um, that was on the chart. And as you can see, um, you know, bars going sideways, uh, doji bar for a signal bar closed above the EMA, and um, I'm leaning into it. So obviously the chart still hasn't lost, so I'm just gonna take the next entry. And I took this one and it worked. Let me show you the live recording. All right, so here we go, start the recording. And you see I enter my order there now, and this is gonna be the bar that closes as a doji and definitely didn't like that close if i was trading according to my rules this is definitely a no trade for me left my order there and again this is trade number four so at this point i'm three and oh yeah all in the same account I was thinking to myself, oh, well, it'll probably make a second leg up before it would trigger anything is what I was kind of thinking. Or I was thinking, well, it might trigger me and then make a second leg up. Um, yeah, no confidence according to like my understanding of price action that this would be a trade to take. But uh, just leaning into it and trusting the chart and just like that, I've got a fourth win in a row. And you can just see how fast this is happening. I mean, it's it's crazy. Um uh, so let's, uh, move on and take a look at trade number five. All right. So here you can see trade number four was right there. That was at 7.04 AM. So my first 20 minutes of trading, I've already got four trades. And then here's trade number five on the same chart, which is the, the next, uh, entry on this chart at 7.10 AM. So, you know, um, five minutes later, basically. Um, and again, the same kind of thing, just going sideways. I have no sense of what's happening on the chart, but, uh, this chart has not lost. And so I went with it and I uh, got my fifth win on this account in a row. Let me show you the live recording. All right. So here we go. This is the recording of my fifth trade. You can see how close it is to the previous trade on the chart. And I can see that the next entry is about to happen. I got right into it. You saw how my order moved up immediately. Um, got me into the trade. And now, again, this is still a situation where I'm thinking, oh, there's going to be another... Um, another leg up and maybe get a loss. You know, it's moving against me. I, I could easily in, in my mind see a second leg up there, but eventually this thing turns back down in my favor and gets me out of the trade. Five and a oh, start the day. Beautiful feeling all by seven, 10 in the morning. So, um, Things are looking really good at this point. I'm really happy and I decided, okay, um, five and oh, that was kind of like my rough target for uh, an account. So I said to myself, maybe it's time to move on to um, another account. And the next account to me that seemed like obvious since this was working so well so far was to go to the valuation that was almost passed and try to pass it. So let's take a look at uh, what will be trade number six. All right, so here we go. This is going to be trade number six. And again, no rules applied, same same deal. 
Now, this is my account number 32 that is less than $200 away from passing. I meant to trade this with just one contract, but um, had four contracts in my trade copier and passed, ended up passing it in one winning trade here. It uh, wasn't my intention, but I was happy to get it. All right, so here we go. This is the live recording of trade number six. I've already uh, dropped my order in down there and uh, just waiting for it to get triggered. And now on this one, I think actually some time goes by before it actually triggers. Um, but maybe I'll just let it run because you can see, you know, I'm just leaving the order there. I know that the next time it, it ticks one tick below any of the next bars, it will be an entry on this chart. And so I'm just uh, leaving my order there to, to wait for it. And the, the order will move to below the previous bar um, at the time the bar closes. So here we got a, a really bullish bar and I'm waiting for a, uh, a, a short to take. Just no analysis whatsoever, just completely waiting for it to trigger um, virtually blindly other than the fact that the chart has been winning. I'm just gonna mute my mic while my uh, dog is barking. All right, so I'm just waiting patiently. I'm 5-0 and at this point. So at this point, I've built up some confidence to just trust this and, and take everything, even though, um, once again, there's just no way this is a trade I would take. Uh, applying any amount of my rules, even the loosest rule set, I would not take this trade. Um, I wouldn't even be looking for a trade here. <laughs> But uh, my chart's telling me that the chart's good and I trust it. So that's what I'm doing here. And you can see the uh, order, it says one, um, it says one on the chart because I'm trading off of a SIM leader account and then it copies to my, my Apex account. Um, so it's hard for me to see it on my window here, but I'm sure in the orders tab, it, it must say uh, four next to the Apex account, working orders or working contracts, but um, I just, I didn't even notice it. So um, I'd probably have been much more nervous about this trade if I realized I was in for four contracts on the eval that was about to win or about to pass, um, you know, that would essentially be risking a huge part of the account, uh, a loss here on this account with four contracts would really set me back a uh, big bar. You know, the bar is almost 70 ticks or over 70 ticks now. So now at this point, I'm thinking I'm going to get triggered in the trade, even thinking it's probably going to be engulfing, which I don't like. The bars are all sideways. Doesn't look like a good trade at all to take. Um, but the edge says it's going to work for my profit target. And just that fast. And then, um, you know, realize pretty quickly, oh, wow, that's, uh, that's a past account. Uh, you know, I, I didn't even realize I was going to be passing it or be trying to pass it on that trade. Um, cause I thought I was just going to win $50 on that one. And instead, uh, that was $184 because of four contracts and boom, we've got a, a past evaluation and we'll have a new PA. So really excited about that. Let's move on to trade number seven. All right. So here's trade number seven. And, uh, you could see this, this was my, my loss. Now this was, uh, my first trade on evaluation number 27 for the day. So, Right away, the uh, evaluation number 27 started off as a, uh, a you know, losing account, a red account, and it was a really large signal bar. 
uh, 75 ticks. So really big, larger than I really usually want to take. Um, but, I, you know, sticking with what I've been doing all morning, I was now uh, 6-0. and oh, And so I wasn't about to uh, start doing things differently. Now, this was the first trade I had taken on this entire chart. And as you can see, it's a bigger chart. So um, there only, you know, there had been less trades on it, but they had all, you know, less entries. Uh, but they had all worked for my profit target. And so even though um, there was nothing about this that I liked in terms of analyzing it, um, I told myself I'm taking every entry on a chart if there, if it's a winning chart and has no losses. And this fit uh, those requirements. And so I took the trade and, and you know, took the loss. Um, got burned on this one, but, you know, I was 6-0 and... Oh and uh, a bunch of trades that didn't look like trades I should take were winners. So I thought, well, let's just keep testing it and see what happens. And we got the loss here. So let me show you that one um, from the live recording. All right, so here we go. This is the live recording of trade number seven. And, uh, you know, um, sandwiched right between the, the opening price and the uh, previous day low, um, not a great place in my estimation to be taking a trade also with the EMA right below it, but, uh, this is no rules. And so, uh, I know that this is going to happen. This is, this is the reason trading this way that I'm, I'm willing to trade this way is because, um, because I'm only trading one contract at a time and one account at a time. So I know that any one loss is not significant uh, versus all the wins, the, the volume of wins I can get across other accounts um, made me feel like, uh, you know, it just, it doesn't matter. And so even when this was working against me, I didn't have that pit in my stomach. I wasn't stressing. I wasn't feeling like, oh no, I've got a loss. Um, you know, I'm, I am showing my, my, uh, stats and everything so i want to have good stats so that's always in my mind like oh i don't want to mess up my stats but um the stats are going to be what the stats are going to be i just i'm looking for a system that works that's going to be profitable that i can get pas and i can be successful with and so it's going to be what it is i'm either going to succeed or fail uh on this youtube channel and it is what it is you know you guys are going to see it so uh in this case the the trade's going to fail and uh, luckily, I wasn't risking it on a on an account that I already had wins on that I was going to give profit back. Um, I almost prefer it to be this way, where I lose the trade on um, just on a different account, you know. So my my profits were protected. Now I couldn't trade my PA anymore or my my evaluation thirty two anymore because it already qualified for becoming a PA, it passed. So uh, there was no option to trade that one anymore. I wasn't gonna risk the, tr the 33 account that I had five and O oh from earlier, and I didn't wanna risk my P account. So this was the only account left to trade today, um, cause I knew going in, I wasn't gonna trade my PA at all today. I was just gonna try to get one of the evaluations passed and see what happens with the others. So there's the loss and you can see it, Took about a 400 and I think that says $408 uh, loss there. And you can see this thing just, you know, took me out and just shot up. Um, so, you know, no problem. Uh, one loss for the day at this point. So uh, I was six and one. And um, at this point, I like I said, I didn't want to trade any of my other accounts that I have active at this point. So I decided, okay, I'll just continue trading this account. And, you know, what if it loses again, I was going to stop for the day. Um, and then otherwise, I was going to just try to get to five trades. So this was 0 and 1 for the account. And I kind of told myself, okay, uh, whatever happens first, 9.30 a.m. or get to five trades or a second loss. And so let's go to trade number eight. All right, so back to the live chart. You can see it moving here. Um, so this is trade number eight. That was the second trade on evaluation number 27. And this was a engulfing entry on a strong move up. And um, 
you know, my, my previous loss was somewhere over here. And, um, uh, uh, yeah, uh, again, another trade I absolutely would not have taken. There's no way I would take this, uh, trade with it moving up so strongly counter trend. And at this point, you know, I'm thinking, uh, it's going to go to move to close the gap of the previous day's low or the previous day's close, I mean. And um, so I was thinking at the very least it was doing that or at the very least it was going to retest the highs of the day. And um, this was before that point. So it's just not a trade I would take according to any of my rules. And uh, but I took it and it won. Here's the uh, live recording. All right. So here we are. This is the live recording of the trade. And I'm showing this way in advance um, of when the trade actually happens here, because this is the point where I dropped the order in. And you're going to see as each bar closes, it's going to move the uh, order up to the close of the bar. You know, when the bar closes, it's going to move it to one tick below the previous bar. Now I'm going to skip forward because it's quite a few candles before it actually kicks in. But you see it moved all the way up without triggering. And... Um, you know, you'll see again, it just moved up again and then I'm skipping forward by 30 seconds at a time here. So when this bar closes, it's going to move up again and it just keeps not, um, not triggering. It keeps moving up. And so I just keep leaving the order, um, armed and, and ready to take the trade. And a, a couple of times it gets really close to uh, triggering the, the trade, which I don't feel good about at all. At this point, this thing's just moving up, 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 and I'm looking for a short for some reason. And uh, as you can see, as I skip forward, it just keeps moving up. And I think I can let it play from here. So I've now let the order follow up. Uh, all these bars, I, you know, how many bars? One, two, three, four, five, like something like six bars. Here's like the seventh bar, I think. And, um, you know, it's just trusting the system. Even after loss, I'm now back to my original chart that I took my first trade on. I've already got three winners on this. It still hasn't lost all day for any entry that's going for um, the 11 ticks that I go for. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a pretty weird feeling to, you know, allow yourself to enter trades where nothing in your body, no analysis, no thought is like, this is a trade I want to take. Um, and you're just kind of giving it over to, um, you know, a strategy that you're just saying, okay, I'm just going to believe in the strategy. And if it takes me into the trade, then it should work. And if it doesn't work, it's kind of nice because I don't have to get mad or upset or feel like I did something wrong. I just know that, well, eventually there's going to be a loser. We already ran into one today. So the odds of another loser um, aren't very high at this point. You know, the, the odds are that, um, you know, especially on a different chart that still has no losses, that it's going to continue to win. And now we're in the trade, as you, you can see there. And uh, this one didn't take very long at all. And so again, this is the same account where we took the, the first loss of the day. And so now, you know, it's just how much can we get back, you know, $50 at a time. Um, and I didn't have the mentality of like, I got to get it all back today. Like I said, I just wanted to get five trades on the account because that's kind of what I'm looking to do is five trades per account uh, before a loss. This one happened to have the loss first. Um, and there you go. You can see I just got out of that trade. So yeah, so I got $50 back on that trade right there on the red account. And um, we're now, uh, I'm now seven and one for the day. And let me take us to trade number nine. We're getting close to the end here. All right, so you can see trade number nine is on the same uh, chart as my previous uh, trade eight. And so this was my main chart of the day. Uh, literally no losses on this chart while I was trading today. So um, just taking every entry. And again, another one. There's no way I take this trade. Going long right into the EMA, bad signal bar, 
just nothing about this screams to me take this trade but trusting the chart it hasn't lost yet and here's the live recording of it all right so here we go again i'm starting my uh playing back the recording uh and now that this ticked below the next time it ticks above a bar is an entry on this chart so at this point i go ahead and i arm uh, the account to take a trade and um, I'm going to skip forward again because again this is another time where bars uh, close and I just let the um, I just let the order follow it down until whatever point it's going to trigger so I'm not even picking like where I want it to trigger or how like where what kind of bar I want it to be like anything just no consideration for any rule whatsoever and you can see, um, so now it moved down above that bar and I'll skip a little bit here. So I'm just fast forwarding 30 seconds at a time. So this bar is going to close. So you can see my order moves down again on the close. And um, I believe there's even one more bar. I'm just skipping by 30 seconds at a time. So another bar is going to close. My order is moving down again. And so at this point, like normally, if I'm playing by my rules, I, I don't want to see an entry above this previous bar. Um, but I'm going to leave my order there. This chart has not lost all day. I know I keep saying it over and over, but it's just like, I'm just, you know, th this, this is the edge of the system is to just lean into it and be willing to take any trade when it's running hot and know that you're going to run into a loss somewhere somewhere along the way um, is entirely possible now at this point we already ran into a loss so my thinking is well on this chart it's still running hot um, you know keep going with it and the odds of getting another loss are, are low but you know it could happen but again I'm, I'm not risking any of my previous profits at this point so, uh, you know, the worst case that happens is I get a little bit more red on, on an account that's already red. And in my mind, I already knew I was going to finish red on the day for this account because I wasn't going to trade it beyond five trades and beyond, you know, say 930 in the morning or so. So here the trade's about to trigger. And man, this is a long video taking 11 trades and showing them all. So, you know, I don't know if I'll always do it this way. I mean, I might just start live streaming and then, um, you know, I might start live streaming and then just do reviews where I don't necessarily show the recording of it. Just talk about each one um, or just show each one because there won't even be much to talk about. I won't have reasons for entering trades other than, hey, the chart was winning. I took the trade. So there you go in the trade. And... Uh, no way I would have ever entered that trade, <laughs> but it worked. And you can see there, I'm already out of the trade. So um, that is trade number nine. So here we go, same chart again, same evaluation, same deal. A trade I would never ever consider taking. Um, just an entry on a really bad signal bar um with just no context no reason to ever think to enter this trade but it worked let's look at the live recording all right so this is going to be the recording of trade number 10 that i'm playing now and uh, you'll see i'm down uh, 330 dollars at this point on this account and um uh, two and one on this evaluation account at this point. And I've already now armed it. You could see, I mean, the order is above a terrible bar if that were to fly up there. I mean, that would be wild for me to ever consider taking a trade like that up there. But if it happens, I'm gonna let it happen. Because why not? Like the chart seems like it can't lose, right? I mean, at this point, I don't even know for the overnight and regular session today on this chart. I mean, it's it's got to be over 10 and 0. 
now my brain always says, well, it's, it, it's, it's bound to lose any, any time now, you know, how many more times can it win? And that's what would always keep me out of trades before. Um, but this is very freeing to just say, Hey, go with what's working, go with it until it doesn't work anymore or until you decide you're done. So, uh, I believe we're going to get entered into the trade after this bar here. All right, let's see. So yeah, here's here's the terrible signal bar coming to a close. You'll see my order moves down one tick above it. So obviously, I mean, there's no way I would ever consider going long here according to my rules and the way I typically enter trades. So, you know, we'll see how well this works over the course of many, many days. Um, you know, I'm sure there'll be days where I just run into losers, you know, and it's going to happen. Um, but the, the question is, how many times can I have great days where I have, you know, just tons and tons of wins before I, I hurt accounts? That's the question. So we'll see. Um This one took a while to get entered in. But I believe once it does trigger, uh, the trade works pretty fast. I think most of these worked really fast. It looks like here's where the trigger's gonna happen. There you go, in the trade. And just like that, out of the trade. So now the count's down 300 at this point and uh, three and one on the account, that's trade 10. So I've just got one more to show. Uh, so let me take you there now. All right, so here we go. We're back on the uh, live market of the chart and uh, this is now a different chart. And uh, this one, uh, let me see here. Let's just see this chart too. Oh, so this, this chart is uh, the same chart I took my trade number three on. And uh, so I, I have only taken one other trade on this chart. This was the chart that had one loss in the overnight uh, for an entry that I didn't take, obviously. And uh, all the rest of the day were wins. And this is probably the one and only trade that I would have liked for, for the entire day. Uh, this is a trade I, I would have taken for long. Um, right off the EMA, uh, pushed through the EMA, tested it, and moved higher again. Um, literally, probably the only trade of the day, if I was playing by my rules, that I would have been able to take today that I saw. So um, I would have been 1-0 in theory um, if I was uh, trading my normal way. That, that would have been my one trade on my PA today, and I would have missed all the previous... Uh, nine wins of the day um, and been in one day. So, uh, you know, that's the difference. I had uh, two, two accounts that, that were profitable today. Um, granted, not on my PA today, but still just as a test um, versus uh, if I was trading my normal way, I'd be one today and this would be my one trade on my PA account and I wouldn't have any other trades and now I'd be switching to the evaluation at this point. But um, like I said, this was my last trade of the day and uh, the only one all day to me that looked like a really good trade. So let's take a look at the live recording and then I'll wrap this up. All right, so here we go. This is the live recording of my last trade number 11, trade number 11 on evaluation 27. And uh, still down 300 at this point on this evaluation for the day. And this is the one that gets me to uh, where I end up for the day, which is down about $255. Just $50 at a time. So, I, you know, 
unless I wanted to just really try to trade all day. But this recording has already almost taken me, uh, it's, we're at 50 minutes right now. So um, 50 minutes of my day just to record for YouTube. Um, and, uh, you know, I just want to be done and start my weekend. So um, there's no way I wanted to trade until 12.30 and do this YouTube with however many more trades that would be, uh, it would take way too long. And even this is too long. So if I find that this uh, strategy is the configuration of everything is the way I want to trade, then, um, I probably just start streaming it. And that way my live recording will be there of all the trades. And then I'll just do shorter reviews, uh, if there's going to be this many trades, um, cause I don't necessarily want all of my videos to be an hour long just to talk about each trade of the day especially when I'm not doing any analysis, I'm just entering. So you can see here the, the order, the, the price is moving up towards my order. Um, and normally I wouldn't want an engulfing bar, so I'd be wanting to be very careful, but in this case, I don't care for the engulfs. Um, it doesn't end up engulfing, um, which to me is an even better trade. And that's the nature of it is the reason why I would want to enter this trade on my PA account. Um, if I was trading it today and this would fit my rules to take this trade, the one and only trade of the day, um, that I would have taken according to my rules. So here we're about to get taken into the trade. I forgot that I even took this long to get me into the trade. But I, f I felt super confident about this one. This was the one trade where I was like, okay, this, this one I trust more than any other. I almost, you know, while this was happening, I almost wanted to like switch on my PA account too, but I didn't want to jinx myself, so I didn't do that. Here we are. It's just about to trigger. Finally, there we are in the trade. And... And just like that, out of the trade, down 255 for the day and four and one on that account. Um, so yeah, so here we are back and uh, let's go back to my, my best chart of the day is this one. And you can see, you can see it all there. Um, and then this is the live market still moving. So it's about wow, 10 after 11 now. And uh, uh, yeah, definitely ready to start the weekend. I'm feeling positive about how this can work for me moving forward. Um, feeling really good about it. Happy to have secured a second PA account. Uh, and looking at my stats uh, down here in the yellow box, uh, 39 and 11 for the year 2024. So in four weeks time, I've traded 50 trades, um, is pretty amazing to me to think that I'm trading more than 10 trades a week, you know, 12 and a half trades a week, essentially on the average so far in 2024, just puts to shame every week I've ever traded prior. <laughs> um, go back in my history, look at my weeks, so, you know, a three a week, a zero, zero a week, a, you know, a three in one week or a five and two week or a three and two week, you know, kind of those are the weeks. And, and uh, so to have a 10, one day and a 15 and four week, um, is improvement for me. This is, you know, and, and it's ironic because the week didn't start very good for me. And I was hoping to finish it out strong in a 10, one day, 91% is exactly what I was hoping to do. So this idea I had, uh, last night when I was thinking about my day yesterday and going, well, a three Oh day was really good. But if I took every single entry I could have taken in the time period I was on, I could have been 10 and 0. And I applied it to today 
And I almost hit that mark, 10 and one, it was close. Uh, past evaluation today, happy. And going into the weekend feeling like um, this is the way I wanna try trading moving forward for now and see how it plays out and see how well it works. And um, that's just how I'm gonna go from here on out. And if I have to make more modifications and adjust, I will. But uh, right now when I have a winning chart, I'm gonna just take them all until I hit a loss or I hit my, my target for an account and move on to the next account. And I'm gonna try to trade uh, until about 9.30 latest, maybe 10. Uh, and uh, Mondays are tough because I do have that, that hour or so where I have to stop trading usually. Um, so I'll have to just see how those days play out. Um, uh, so yeah, 80% discount. You can use this one, this code here or any other. And uh, the one day pass still going through Monday and a 10 one week. That's pretty cool. Let me put these stats back up. All right, so I finished out the week strong. 10 and one for the day. That's amazing. Uh, that's just, go back and look at my, my, anyone watching this, go if you haven't seen my, my trading history on YouTube, just go back randomly and just look at some of the videos. Like I've never traded anywhere near 11 trades in a single day. It's not even, it's not even a thing. So we'll see if this happens again anytime soon and uh, how the stats work out. But uh, this was fun, had a good time, stress-free trading. And uh, I'm gonna look to try to apply this to my P accounts uh, starting Monday. So let's see what happens next week. Thanks for watching, sorry it was such a long video. Really excited to um, uh, get this many trades, but not necessarily excited to have to review 11 trades um, and show each video uh, of each individual trade. So. Uh, moving forward, if this is going to be kind of the volume of trades, then I really do think I'll probably just start live streaming and uh, letting it record my whole sessions and um, and then being able to keep these uh, review videos much, much shorter, not having to show uh, each trade with the, uh, the live recording as it played out. All right, that's it for me. Thanks for watching. Like it and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I think um, finally... Um, moving in an interesting direction. Uh, don't want to get too high and uh, try not to get too low. My, It's great. My loss didn't get me low today and, I, and it hasn't been getting me down. Anytime I've gotten red numbers in the last week or two, I've really felt like it's not affecting me. I'm able to move on. And in today, especially taking that loss, it like it didn't even register. Like It just didn't even phase me. It didn't feel like I didn't have pressure. I didn't feel like I was doing something wrong. I didn't feel like, um, oh, I should have noticed this or that to keep me out of the trade. It was just a way easier way of trading and way easier way of accepting a loss. Um, all right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.